We definitely got power and it's plugged in, but the car has not charged. The car has not charged. I did not get any notification in the task bar. The Sonoff doesn't show me any energy usage. Well, the car is not charged. This is the software bug I talked about it earlier, when the car does not wake up anymore. So if I now wake up the car... Yeah, see it has not charged. Yeah, and then you get the second symbol that the charging has started. There we go. So, I'm ending up with an uncharged car now. It doesn't really matter because I've still got 176 kilometers, but still, it's, it's a software bug. Well, that is really annoying, right? I still I still have 150 kilometers in the battery now um, as you can see still heaps of range so it's not a big issue in a Tesla but still I mean if you plan to go somewhere in the morning and the car hasn't charged at all overnight it could be potentially a big problem so and here's what happens so as you may know I use the depart at the schedule departure function in the Tesla in the Tesla Model 3. I set this to 8 o'clock in the morning, so I want to depart at 8 o'clock. So regardless what time you set the departure time to, it will always make sure the car is ready by 6 a.m. Because, because Tesla is assuming that you get energy cheaper during the night. This is just a hardwired time inside the software. It always makes sure the car is ready by 6 a.m. And you, at the moment you cannot change this time. So what happens? I come home at 5 o'clock in the afternoon and I plug in the car. I open the charge port, plug in the car and that's it. And then I assume the car is ready by 8 a.m. in the morning. But this does not happen because when I plug in the car at 5 p.m. there's no power on the circuit. And it tells me that. It, te it, tells, it says somewhere, uh, check power source. Because what it does with this scheduled departure is, as soon as you plug in the car, it looks after the battery, after the state of charge and after the th threshold you set. And also it looks after the amps you have set in your car to charge your car with. And from these two informations, it calculates the charging time. So of course, the lower the battery status is, the longer it will take to charge. The lower the amps are, the longer it will take to charge as well. So, of these two factors, it calculates the charging time. And when I plug in at 5, the car will usually check what is the state of charge of the battery. Yep, I can see that. And what is the amp setting inside the car and what is the actual power source connected to the car because I could potentially be somewhere else and have it plugged into a public charging port to a destination charger to any kind of charging facility the car doesn't know. So what it usually does is it starts a charging process right away when you plug it in. And this is only for the car to determine how much power can I draw from the from the power source. I may have set it to 16 amp, but I may have plugged in only to an 8 amp power source. So the charging time will double. And this is what the car checks. But now at 5 p.m. there is no power. There is no power on this circuit. It's a special tariff. It is turned off during peak time. So the car cannot determine what kind of power source is connected. Battery check, yes. Power source check, no. So it cannot see what is going on. The car finally goes to sleep. It locks, it turns off as usually and you think yep yeah, it will wake up at somewhere 12 or 1 a.m. in the morning and start charging. No it won't. It won't. If the car cannot determine 
if it cannot calculate the charging time at the beginning when you plug it in it will never wake up even if the power comes back the power comes back say at 9 p.m the car will not wake up at this point of time it won't wake up at any point of time until the morning when i wake it up you've seen that this morning i needed to wake up the car via the app and then it started charging straight away because it oh oh shit and he wants to go at eight i'm late i'm late and it showed me like four and a half hours of charging time which it calculated right away there was power it could see the state of charge of the battery it could see the um, set amps and it could see the power supply as well so and in my eyes this is a fault if the power comes back at any point of time the car should wake up and check the power source again it needs to do this to recalculate the charging time so and this is just pure a software problem because in my eyes the car should wake up as soon as the power comes back on the umc on the circuit i had this on a video quite a few months back when i discovered it the first time and i flagged this with tesla i locked the service request and said look that is a software bug that is not correct the software needs to wake up the car once the power comes back it should recognize that and it does a new calculation of the actual start time of the charging well and tesla came back and said rtfm <laughs> no no honestly that's what they said that's it they said please charge the car accordingly to the manual and I looked at the manual and I, re and I read the manual. Well, I read the charging part at least. And it doesn't tell you anything what to do when the power is lost or how the car actually behaves when the power is lost. And the... So, well, here I am ending up with an uncharged car in the morning. It's, it's not a problem for me, but it may be for other people who are dependent to have the car on a certain state of charge in the morning to make it actually to work and back. So just keep this in mind if you use this schedule departure and you are on a tariff where they turn off power during peak times, for example, the car may not wake up. To overcome this problem, what I have to do before I go to bed at about 10 or 11 p.m., I have to start the app and wake up the car. And then the car will check the power source check the set amps and check the state of charge of the battery determines a new start time of the charging and then everything is good and then it goes to sleep again and wakes up at this point of time and everything is good but the car needs to be awake to do this calculation if it is asleep or it cannot do the calculation it won't charge well, I mean, as a workaround, you could easily use the other function start charging at and set this to uh, say um, 11 p.m. and let the car start at 11 p.m. in the night and then you are fully charged in the morning as well. But it won't precondition your car. If you are in colder climate and have snow or ice on the windscreen, it won't precondition it on this in this setting. You need to have the depart at function enabled. Again, no big deal for me because we rarely have ice and snow on the windscreen. I can't remember the last time when we had this down here. But still, the functionality of the schedule departure is not quite 100% working as designed, I think. Well, and if you want to see more about this, want some behind the scenes videos, why not go over to patreon.com slash unplugged TV and join the growing community over there. We've got live streams, we've got hangouts, we've got a WhatsApp group where we discuss electric vehicles and everything else in life. So head over to my Patreon page, become a Patreon, become a supporter of me and the channel. And I'm looking forward to see you over there. And if you have already signed up, thank you very much for your support. Okay guys, so far this video from today, let me know what you think. Is this a problem or is this just a me problem? Not sure how many people are charging on circuits where the power turns off from time to time. And what kind of scheduled departure scenario are you using? All right guys, thank you as always. I'm signing off, you stay charged. Well, I'm stay charged if the car charges actually overnight. And we will see us again in the next video very soon. Thanks guys, see you then, bye bye.